Whenever you mix weather, boats and docks, sometimes something's gonna give. And sometimes that thing that's gonna give is gonna be the boats. Just like some of the incidents we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Speaking of giving, it's been a while since we've done a giveaway, so we're gonna go ahead and do one today. It's pretty simple, you wanna be entered, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel, hit the like button, and leave a comment below. And we're gonna pick our favorite comment from somebody who's done all three of those things, and we're gonna give them a free Drain Plug Mafia tumbler. But let's go ahead and get this week's episode of Boating News of the Week started. Our first incident to make the boating news this week is going to take us down to Bridgetown, Barbados, where this was the scene this past week when the roll-on, roll-off cargo vessel Admiral Bay 3 tried to enter port. <laughs> I was sent multiple videos from several people on the ground at the scene in Barbados, so we're gonna get a couple different looks at this and also a couple different shots of the aftermath. Right now, it's still currently under investigation as to what actually caused the incident we're about to see here, where the Admiral Bay 3 is about to collide with these two sailing yachts that's docked in port. <laughs> Here from a secondary angle, you'll be able to see the actual whole collision. In our next clip, you're going to see what the aftermath looked like after this collision. The two sailing yachts you can see here both suffered heavy damage, but one of the sailing yachts had a punctured hole and was actually taking on water. This is why, you know, like it's sinking, oh. Uh, I feel it. If you look closely you now, there's a big hole there you now. Big hole in the side. And water going in through there, so I feel this one can go down. Now currently, this still is under investigation to try and determine the cause of the accident. But the few people I've talked to who were on the ground in Barbados have all given me the same story so far. Basically claiming that as the Admiral Bay 3 entered port, that it reported having suffered a mechanical failure. This mechanical failure made the vessel lose control of all ability to steer and also any ability to control its motors. What's up, funny? Up funny dark, man. Up funny line. Okay. And then boy runs up fucking I am the eight me you don't talk and I think I'm going to have it will be interesting to see once the investigation is complete to find out what the actual cause of this incident was. Here we can still see the aftermath of the damage. The total amount of damage occurred in this incident has yet to be figured and it's still undetermined whether this vessel here will be a total loss or not. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Australia, where this was the scene just a few weeks back during Boxing Day. Now at first glance, you're going to look at this and be like, what the heck is this crew doing here? Well apparently we're not the only ones to think that, because now local officials in Australia have placed the Morpheus Cruise Line Company, the owner of this vessel seen here, under investigation for an unsafe act after this footage was released. Here we can see the vessel traversing Sydney Harbour on Boxing Day with most of its guests in the bow of the boat, causing the boat to basically plow through the water and only being one large wave away from possibly a serious incident happening. One of Australia's transportation ministers, David Elliott, plans to ask authorities to find the captain of the vessel. He was quoted saying, we can't legislate against stupidity, but I've asked Maritime if they can at least find the captain for it. The NSW police have confirmed the incidents under investigation by Maritime officers, but it's unsure yet if a fine's actually been issued. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us down to South Florida, where this past week, several people who were on board the Crystal Symphony Cruise Line got a free extended vacation, but one that wasn't really wanted by many. The saga began this past Wednesday when Peninsula Petroleum Far East filed a lawsuit in South Florida against Crystal Cruise Lines, alleging it owed unpaid fuel bills totaling more than $4.6 million, causing a U.S. judge to go ahead and issue an arrest warrant ahead of the ship's scheduled Saturday arrival in Miami, meaning the ship would be seized by U.S. Marshals once it entered U.S. water. Knowing this ahead of time, the cruise line actually took an unexpected action and ordered this ship to return back to the island of Bimini in the Bahamas, where it would shuttle its passengers aboard the Bellaria Ferry back to Fort Lauderdale. This action allowed the cruise ship to not be seized by the marshals, but it did wreak havoc among passengers as they all had to figure out how to get home after a day being added to their cruise. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Adam Coolidge, Isaac, 
Brian Richard Smith and Michael Gooding did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.